In May 2024, over 65,000 developers responded to the Stack Overflow Dev Survey, and here's what they had to say. Learning is great, but earning is better. I had to steal this one from Stack Overflow themselves. Developers are experiencing significant frustrations with technical debt at work. Around 70% of more the senior developers are not afraid that AI will take their job, compared to new developers or current learners where the statistics say that they are unsure. However, the trust in AI tools is surprisingly high. 43% of developers trust AI, which is quite a shock. These statistics includes all responses and even when focusing solely on the professional developers, the number remains largely unchanged. Some of these statistics are very susceptible to sampling bias. It's basically like throwing up a pizza party, but most of the people who attend like pineapple and anchovies as toppings on their pizza. Look, I'm not hating on Stack Overflow. In fact, I appreciate them bringing these stats to our attention. I just want to highlight that in some areas, a certain degree of sampling bias exists. One of the more shocking statistics here is the salary decrease which in most of the cases is more than 10k, but more on that at the end of the video. Right now, let's just focus on some of the more interesting statistics, for instance, where do people learn how to code? Turns out people like reading documentation the most, then they jump to Stack Overflow. And of course, no list is full if you don't include AI. I cannot imagine reaching for ChatGPT when it comes to learning how to code, but hey. In terms of education, 66% of the developers that took the survey have some kind of a degree. For the most popular technologies perspective, seems like JavaScript has been smashing it again. Did you know that JavaScript was the number one language every year in Stack Overflow survey except for 2013 and 2014 when SQL was the most popular language? From the cloud platforms, of course, AWS is still the king, followed by Microsoft and GCP. Node.js and React are the most used web frameworks same as last year, although I'm not sure why Node is in this category as it's not a web framework but hey. Anyway, they also appear to be at the forefront of learning interests among developers and yes, of course, jQuery is here. They still keep on pushing new versions for jQuery. In fact, they're getting ready for a new release candidate coming out really soon. Next.js is getting some uptrend this past couple of years, so it might be worth spending some time to learn Next.js if you haven't already. Angular, on the other hand, seems to be stagnant at around 90% both last year and this year if we are segregating by the professional developer section. ChatGPT is the most used AI tool out there, most likely because of the free tier and Copilot and Gemini follow second and third. If you want to be the best paid developer and have the most money in your pocket, then you have to choose Erlang. TypeScript is sitting somewhere in the middle, but I was honestly a bit taken back by PHP and Dart. Looks like you'll be downgrading to a peasant if you prefer these languages. And rest in peace to all you other developers out there. The changes in salaries are not looking promising. Most of the languages except Erlang, Nim and Apex have seen a decrease of at least 10k this year. I really do wonder if this is because of the market being oversaturated at the moment or developers choosing to work remote or hybrid most of the time. Oh, and let's not forget about developer happiness. This year, only 90% of developers were actually happy at work. I guess just like everything in life, salaries and mood experience their ups and downs as well. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next one.